Okay, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing here. Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here, and today we are gonna do two things in this video. One is, if you watched the last video, you saw that I need to recut the trail. So I've got the Coyote RX7320 and my ridiculously <laughs> narrow uh, six foot cutter on this thing. So we're gonna cut those trails again real quick. And then the main thing I wanna go through today is we're actually gonna do some screening. So screening is something not a lot of folks talk about. I've seen some channels talk about it. They do a really good job, but the product I'm gonna use today is kind of a sorghum product. It's made by Killer Food Plots. And this is just something we picked up on sale, you know, tractor supply, and it was just left over but this seed can be really expensive so if you can find some of the prior year that's kind of going you know in clearance that's probably the best time to buy it but it, it's a critical part of what you're doing so two of the blinds that we have one the muddy blind that i have that i kind of showed in that last video there was a trail going around it you know that's really close to bedding so i want to have some kind of screen there and this will grow up and be anywhere from eight to ten feet tall i'm kind of behind the eight ball here we're here in august and i should have done this a month or two back but yeah, you do what you can so <laughs> here we are we're getting that done and then i'm going to do a second one around the hawk blind that we have in that little tree island where jb actually was able to shoot his doe this past year and i'll get that mowed just around there and we'll cut hay around it but then i'm gonna have to get out the rototiller just to break up the ground anyway we're gonna hop in the tractor get in the air conditioning and we are gonna start mowing i'm talking too much let's get to work started mowing I just wanted to talk about one thing that I think is probably my favorite uh, addition to this tractor so check this out I have a hydraulic top link so the top link is the part at the very top so a three-point hitch you have the top part and then you have two lift arms so the top link usually you have to like turn it with a turnbuckle but this time with this I have a hydraulic top link where I can move it if I lift it up I can kind of show you yeah, I can adjust my cutter without having to get out and kind of turn it and turn it and turn it. Those things always seem to work themselves loose, especially if you keep them lubricated like you're supposed to. So just wanted to share that. Let's start mowing. a little bit about what we're doing here as you saw at the top of the hill this hawk blind is a great blind it's super comfortable it's a great thing to sit in but if you're on top of that hill and you're a you know a wandering member of wildlife buck doe coyote you're gonna see this blind and it's not gonna look like it belongs there it's completely uh, inorganic even though the colors kind of blend in when you really kind of get into this blind you're gonna see someone walking up the staircase you're gonna hear it because it's metal which is one of the downsides of this blind but if you gingerly kind of get up there real quietly and we can get some kind of screening around here that's gonna change the game for us a little bit so I don't want to make it get too far over here because if I have 12 feet of you know eight foot tall grass that's gonna make it difficult to see what's coming around this corner because actually it's only about a 75 yard hundred yard shot to that fence line so anyway we're all done with the mowing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the barn put the rototiller in the back of the tractor go ahead and till this and then i'll run up to the other side in front of that muddy bull uh blind that you all saw me uh, cutting the trails earlier till that throw some of the seed down there anyway let's go to the barn and let's get the rototiller and let's get to work
Okay, we got it tilled up and I'm just gonna cast the seed out there evenly and I'm gonna do it by hand and we'll let the rain do its thing. And at the end of the day, it doesn't come in perfectly. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so the seed I'm using here is called Border Patrol by Killer Food Plots. I haven't used their seed a whole lot, but I did use their Border Patrol last year and I had really good results with it. So uh, this bag plants about a half acre. This should have been done probably last month, but like I said, you do what you can do. So let's throw it out there and go to the next spot. Okay, next spot. Okay, so we got that done. I'm not gonna do two swaths here, really for two reasons. One, the deer that way, and two, you can see the size of the rocks. I don't know if you can see on the video. I mean, some of these things are just eating that tiller alive. I don't wanna kill my tiller just yet. So, let's get some seed out. You know, if this is a food plot, I would work it with a disc and maybe a, I don't know, ripper or something like that just to kind of get it opened up and then get rid of the uh, rocks. But we're just doing screen, not that big of a deal. watching this is like man you're not you should use an earthway spreader you should use this that let me show you what the seed looks like real quick and I'll give you an idea why I don't so as you can see some seeds are really big some are really small so an earthway spreader has you know it has a little gap setting on there that if you have clover it's a really small seed and you know you set it for that or if you have cow peas or you know, something else and it's easy to kind of judge but something like this where you have multiple sizes of seed you really can't do that so what I've learned is that if you cast it straight out almost like you're bowling it, it'll have great coverage if you kind of cast it to the side almost like a wave that always seems to end up having waves of seed so don't be afraid to do this don't be afraid to grab seed and just throw it out there by hand farmers have been doing it for years uh, cedars haven't always been there not everyone's had expensive drills I don't have one and this worked for us last year, you know, it, it grew beautifully. So uh, this product of theirs is really, really good. Haven't used a whole lot of the food plot seed. I use a lot of Paul from uh, Whitetail Food Plots USA. He, he's got a great product. I use a lot of his stuff out here because, you know, it, it's just, it's always worked and I'm not gonna mess with something that works. Anyway, I think this kind of concludes the video. You know, I'm gonna take the tractor, probably just drive over this once or twice, just to maybe push some of that seed down onto the soil and it's hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can't cool off a little bit. But uh, today was fun. We got the tractor out, we got to play with tractors. Anytime you get to do that, it's a great day. And uh, you know, we got the trails cut, we got the tiller out and you know, both blinds should have pretty good coverage as far as screening goes. And hopefully you guys saw a new product out there, which again, I'm not sponsored by them. They just I got a TSC and it, it, you know, if you like it, great. If not, find something that works for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Uh, give us a follow down there on the left-hand side. No, left-hand side, over there. No, over there. And uh, we would really appreciate that. And if you enjoy this kind of thing, share it with your friends and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Hope to have you guys here with us on the channel again, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm Joe the Farmer. We out.